Hey guys, Chris Wolf, the RC Geek here. Welcome to my video series titled How to Build an RC Jet. What we're building is a Mark Frankel F4D Skyray. It's a little bit older kit from uh, late 80s, early 90s, but it's a great uh, airplane. It's big. Uh, we're going to put an electric ducted fan in it, uh, but you can also go turbine or uh, back in the day it flew actually on glow ducted fan as well and it flew awesome. So it's a nice big representation of the Skyray. It's 1 7 scale. Uh, it's about 78 inches long and uh, so that's what we're building and to this point I've been documenting uh, the build on my blog the rcgeek.com we've built our dorsal and our rudder assemblies that's all documented on the website uh, and this is my my first video in the series so what we're building today is uh, speed brakes and on the F40 Skyray the airplane has four speed brakes. There's two on the top fuselage, two on the bottom fuselage near the back end of the airplane. So what we have here is one of them. I, I've actually built three so far and the fourth one we're going to build on this video. Uh, so we have a fiberglass uh, speed brake and that's cut out of the fuselage. We've got an air cylinder on the back side along with the, the brackets here to hold the air cylinder. And then we open this up and this is all attached to this wood liner you can see some of the detail in there. Uh, we're going to include how to do that. There's some uh, detail in here also. And uh, that's using some, some fun vinyl rivets. As well as this air cylinder, the way this is all set up, it looks scale to the airplane. Uh, the full size, and that's what we're looking for. Alright, so look at what we need. First of all, we're going to need a couple of razor saws. This is because we have to cut the speed brake out of the fuselage. There's some carbon in there, so we're going to also going to be using this uh, X-Acto saw blade, which is a number 13 saw blade available from Excel. The other thing we have is this pre-built uh, liner, and this is built out of balsa wood and 164th plywood on the back. It's been pre-finished using primer uh, sanding and then primary. We have our um, our mounts for the air cylinder and then we have our stiffeners uh, for the speed brake itself and what that is is these parts here and here you can notice uh, that uh, we've pre-drilled holes in them which is part of the detail here's our air cylinder this is an air power air cylinder you can get it from DreamWorks RC and then we have a 3D printed horn bracket uh, and this is held uh, gets glued to the speed brake itself uh, you can see it here. This is ultimately what it's going to look like. Um, so we have two uh, 440 bolts going th through both sides into uh, capturing this uh, ball joint in the, the air cylinder. Uh, and then this is our uh, cover for the back of the speed brake, just part of our detail. First thing we need to do is we're going to cut out our speed brake, we have a vinyl outline of the speed brake that we're going to cut out. We're going to use this razor saw to start it out. What we're going to do is we're going to come in here, we're going to use the speed brake uh, as our guide. This is vinyl, so it's got a nice little edge to it. Uh, and we're going to use the tip of the razor saw. To cut through the glass and you can see it doesn't take very long. I'll switch this around, maybe it'll be a little better. There we go. So now we've cut through the glass and then we just keep going until we've cut out the entire uh, speed brake. Now with, with the areas that have carbon fiber, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna use the, the razor saw to cut through uh, and then we're going to come in with this X-Acto saw uh, and then use that to cut through the carbon. Just like we're cutting through the glass here. Now as we cut with the razor saw, we want to keep the razor saw long and flat as we cut so we can get a nice straight edge or straight straight cut and 
There, we're gone to the edge there. We're so now, we have one long cut from end to end on our speed brake and we're going to continue that all the way around the perimeter until it's completely cut out. Okay, so we've cut our speed brake out, we've pulled the, the vinyl template off that was purely for cutting, but we used our razor saws to cut around the speed brake including these you know hinge pieces here that's all connected and so from here we'll start adding in the internals uh, adding uh, getting it all set up for the hinging in the wood liner now to set up the hinging of our speed brake we have our wood liner here and what we need is for this speed brake to attach accordingly what I've done is I have these 3D printed drilling templates. Uh, this is going to drop into here, and there's holes here on each side, and I'm going to use that to drill through the liner. And what I'm going to do from there is that I'm going to embed a 332nd inch aluminum tube into there. Uh, you can also see there's some aluminum tubing in uh, the end of this. And what this does, this goes onto our speed brake here, uh, and and here and so from there it's all going to act as a bushing so that this thing can rotate about a 1 16th inch diameter wire. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install our stiffeners onto the speed brake. I've lightly sanded this uh, to help get a good adhere to for the wood onto the glass as well as I have this uh, wire in here that's just to make sure that everything stays square uh, when I glue this together so we don't have anything on a bias. So we're just going to use CA to do that. So now we have our hinge point set up in our speed brake. From here with the wood liner, we are going to, first thing I need to do is I need to add some spacers, some spacers in here so that uh, everything lines up and there's no slop, no lateral play side to side in the, the speed brake and the liner assembly. Uh, and then once we do that, we'll uh, drill through. We're part way through. Uh, we've built, we've got our stiffeners on here. We have our horn bracket inside, which is where our uh, air cylinder is going to connect to. We're just going to glue that in with some five minute epoxy, uh, and then we're going to cover this up um, with the cover here. And then uh, we'll start attaching our air cylinder and getting this all connected. And once we have that, then we'll put some rivets on. Now one of the things I want to point out here is that you notice we have the horn bracket in here. We've just glued that in place with five minute epoxy. Uh, but the way that we're going to hold our air cylinder in here is we have these two uh, 256 bolts. I've ground down the heads on them just to give them a lower profile uh, so they're not as obtrusive. You don't notice them as much. And so what's going to happen is we have our ball link on our air cylinder this is going to slip in here like this and then each one of these bolts tightens in from each side now the reason I do that is so that I can always remove this if I ever have an issue uh, this makes this uh, much more accessible so you can see now that our air cylinder is attached next thing from here we're going to continue on we will place this cover on here and, and then this, these are our uh, brackets for the air cylinder. 
that it's going to mount to in the airplane or on this, uh, this liner. Here we have our setup. Air cylinders attached here. We have our brackets for our air cylinder. Uh, we've got it slotted in here. That's where these are going to glue to. And then we have a, a bolt going through and that's basically the pivot for this air cylinder. Uh, so from here we glue these in and then we can work on finishing out the rest of the details. But uh, that will give us a, a fully assembled uh, speed brake uh, that will be then fully functional. One thing to note is when I, when I glue this air cylinder to make sure that I get really positive pressure holding this speed brake down, I'm going to set this up such that there's about uh, no more than a sixteenth of an inch of travel left on this air cylinder. You can just barely see it in the video, but uh, so that way when there's air pressure on here, uh, it's going to pull that extra 32nd to a sixteenth of an inch close and that's going to really hold this door down tight. Alright guys, so here we have the final assembly. Five minute epoxy, glue these brackets on, open this up, it's connected here, so, and we're good to go. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this apart, we're going to pull the speed brake out, put this, uh, this cap on here, and then start adding some, some rivets. And we want to ultimately make this look like this. Uh, and uh, so that's going to be the next step. Okay, so here we have our, our uh, finished speed brake. We've got the cap on here. Uh, we've got our horn bracket in here. Uh, as far as we're concerned, this is a fully uh, a, a completed assembly here. One thing you'll notice, I've got this white glazing putty around uh, the edges. Uh, that's to fill in the weave of the fiberglass cloth so that way when this is deflected it will have a nice sheet metal looking surface on the inside. Uh, the other thing you'll notice is I have uh, some reference lines marked in here. Those are going to be for the rivets uh, which we're going to tackle tomorrow. Once uh, these, the glazing putty has fully cured, we'll sand it nice and smooth, give it a light, nice light primer uh, and then we'll move on into the rivets. We also have our completed liner. You notice on the back side we have our uh, horn brackets for the air cylinder. Uh, it air cylinder rotates nice and smoothly the way it needs to, it actuates well, uh, and so we have a fully completed and assembled speed brake assembly. So as far as we're concerned, we could install this into the airplane now. You know, we put. You know, put the assembly together, put it into the airplane, but before we do that, we want to make sure that everything on the inside is fully finished, uh, so that way we don't have to come back and try and do that while it's installed into the airplane. Uh, so here we are. We'll pick up tomorrow uh, in finishing this off, and we'll uh, have some fun. <laughs>